There's also a Democrat lawmaker. She's a state lawmaker. Her name is Karen Whitsett. And she's the same person who got hydroxychloroquine mm. when Trump was arguing with the press about whether or not it was effective or whether or not we should even have the right to ask for it mm -hmm. to save our lives, whether or not it was proven to be effective or proven to at least help a little. Mm -hmm. And she basically said, you know what, Donald Trump literally, the, the fact that he pushed this medication actually saved my life. Well, she opposes, she opposes, Karen Winston opposes Governor Whitmer's order to extend the emergency de declaration for 28 days. And so what do you think they did to her? Censured. They censured her. They censured Ooh. her. Her own party censured her. By the way, that censure means shut up. That's what censure means, mm -hmm. okay? So think about this for a minute. There's an emergency order that says you can't protest and shut up. Mm -hmm. And then we have the Democrat party in Michigan saying to their fellow Democrat, as well as to a Republican, Shut up. Mm -hmm. You can't talk. I'm sorry. I have a problem with that. We Here is Karen Whitsett. We have a clip of her, and here she is. We have to celebrate the victories. Do we still need testing? Yeah, we still need it. Um, am I voting to support us opening up our state? Yes, I am voting to support us opening up our state because I do feel that there's too much power given to the governor right now, and it's not being used properly. And that's because the Republican legislature said, let my people work. <laughs> Open up. So go. So what I always historically have noticed is it seems that the Democrats rely on full party unity with every single member where if one goes off the, the plantation or the reservation or whatever we want to call it now, um, or actually speak their own thought and hold their own opinions, and that's not the cow time to the Democrat uh, political like agenda, uh, they do get censured or they get they get removed from pow positions of power within the party, within committees of the, any legislature from every level of uh, form of government in the United States. Whereas in the Republican Party, what I've seen is we almost embrace independent thought. We may not agree all the time saying, where are you going with that? That don't make sense. Um, and and it's kind of sad because it actually stifles actually any creati creativity of solving any issues or actually saying, hey, we can do this. We just got to do it in a measured way of reopening our states. So the Democrat Party in Michigan in the 13th Congressional District actually released a statement and they said, among other things, that Karen Whitsett has chosen to drive a wedge between herself and the Democrat Party. Uh -huh. uh, and she continues, and with the use of her incendiary words to attack fellow Democrat leadership in Michigan, while publicly supporting the Operation Gridlock protest. <laughs> and then she went on, Karen Whitsett went on to say, well, I guess this is teaching me to be in my place, but it's not going to stop me, she said. So in other words, the Democrat Party of Michigan is saying, shut up, yep. you don't have a right to free speech. In that statement that you read from the Democrat Party of that district, those were incendiary words. They could use different words, but those they were trying to pack a punch. And you, you can see that. It's, it, I just get a kick out of how people use words uh, to get a point home or to drive something. And it's like, that's not necessary. Why do you gotta be that way? Why do you gotta convey this message to me? We can, we're both adults. We can come together and find a compromise. That's me still holding on to some semblance of hope of actually have functioning government <laughs> on the national and level.